We are not reporters nor journalists. The views, information, or opinions expressed are strictly and solely barber shop talk. We pride ourselves on being uncut, unapologetic, uncompromising, unfiltered, and refuse to conform to anything less than. So if you can't, cut the cap. This ain't the show for you. I don't know if y'all seen, you heard this clip, but um, we're gonna listen to it right quick. Okay. I'll share some really, it may come off the wrong way. It may sound narcissistic, but I don't think any one man takes down Drake. I think that was a baton. I think I passed the baton to Push. I think Push passed the baton to Kendrick and the job is done now. That's how I feel in my head <laughs> and my heart. <laughs> that's crazy. But that's you looking at that's looking at Drake as more than just a person. That's looking at him as an entity, a business, some you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, a wild yeah. baton to pass, by the way. <laughs> all right. So uh, yeah, I agree. First of all, that was a wild, wild like I, I had to learn the mur making them of a murder. I had to listen to it again. I know Joe Buttons yeah, yeah. is the actual pin man, but he ain't blow wind on Drake. Drake just didn't want to go back and forth because he know Joe Buttons to put out a million songs and Joe Buttons is the type of, of lyricist that you it don't matter if he's getting stomped on he's gonna keep putting songs out so it don't matter like he's not gonna meet Millard and just be quiet type shit like like okay. if this was if he was in a in the position of Drake right now with it's not like us. Joe Buttons would have got on a remix and like like us. He would have rapped on a beat. He would have put out another another diss and so on and so forth. Right. But for him to say that he passed the baton to push a T, and then push a T passed it to Kendrick. I I could believe in a baton of push a T to Kendrick, but I'm not putting okay. him in there by any means. Any any means. I, I have to disagree. <laughs> I think Joe Buttons was on point with that. What? I think okay. Yeah, I think it was a. Each one of them did their own little damage to him. I get what he's saying in the sense of like, you know, it. You know, I don't think it did. I I don't think anybody did any damage to Drake. Like ended Drake. I don't even think Kendrick ended Drake. But I do think it's been a while. Like you know, different artists. I I remember that time when Joe Buttons was coming at Drake. That was a chink in his armor. And then Pusha T did it. And I was a chink in his armor too. You got to see it, it lined them up. It actually, I'm sure Kendrick was like, okay, I know what needs to be done after seeing what they did. You know what I mean? That's how I feel. You know, you study the art of war. Yeah, but I don't see it like he, he passed. He made it seem like he lined them up for, for Pusha T. Like, nah. By any means. At, the, at that time, though, I think. I definitely think Joe, not he ain't beat him. Like, there's no beating Drake, but he definitely made made people question. Because, you know, some people just think he was, uh, at that time, people thought Drake was just like, you know, the almighty Drake. Nothing could, he's, you can't pinch his armor. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Drake definitely, I mean, uh, Joe definitely touched the nerve. He you know probably, I mean? and, yeah, but you know, because you, because Joe is definitely a lyricist. Like, hey, shout, shout out to Slaughterhouse. Like, everybody in, in, in Slaughterhouse's pin game is crazy. So shout out to him. I don't, but this is my take on it. I think he's such a lyricist, but I don't think he did anything to. I think Drake was kind of above him in a sense, where it's like, oh, I ain't even worry about that. And then Slaughterhouse fell apart, and then he's praising Drake. But then now it's a three sixty, where it's like, hey, I passed the baton to Pusha T. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Nah, like, see, that's where yo, you tell like Drake cares about stuff like that. Otherwise, he wouldn't try to be the best rapper. That's the argument we was having last week debate. You know what I mean? As far as him trying to rap, he cares about what other rappers, rappers, not artists, rappers think about him. Drake does care about that. Like even if he don't say it, every rapper cares about what another rapper, like a rapper. Let's we not saying no, other nobody that's you know what I mean some uh, with bars. Yeah, let me say MC so we clear that up. Every rapper cares about what an MC say. Like, what does he think about me? Because I respect his pen. Like, you Drake ain't never gonna say he don't respect your buddy's pen. He'll mm -hmm. never say that. So, some for yeah. somebody, so for somebody that you respect their pen and you know they're a beast and they coming at you, you kind of like, dang. Now, like I said, it just prepared. Like, I get what he's saying. He's trying to say, I feel like Joe Bud's trying to say, yo, if it prepared for the what was coming like little tiny shots because yo nobody would have ever did that at one time nobody was trying to test that man you know what i mean so joe did it 
<laughs> All right, so maybe I'm a little biased in it. So in my head, I feel like Joe passed the baton to Meek. <laughs> Meek dropped the baton. Yeah, Meek ain't Push yeah, Meek, Meek fell. Push Meek your team picked it up. Push your team picked it up. <laughs> if anything, Meek empowered Drake again. Like when 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 Meek when when Drake won that, Drake felt yeah. like ah, like I'm Thanos yeah. now. I got the streets now. That's what we, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, Drake definitely don't got no streets. I think Bun tweaking, man. Yeah, they, listen, that, that's a little. That's I a little get what you. I get what I get what he's saying. I get what I'm saying and all that, but I think Button is being Button now. He just want he won't be in the. He's mix a media now. person though. He he's gonna melt this for every left right. He's gonna get the exposure. He's doing what he's supposed to do as rap of somebody that doesn't rap anymore. He gonna make you go listen to his old stuff now because he just said this. So now, like, word, you came at Drake, and then they go back and listen to Making of a Murder Part One, whatever. Like, people probably never heard it if they're not real into the hip hop like that. So he's a smart man. With the... And I also think Bash is being delusional, man. I think I think I think Drake's finished, man. I think get oh. that nigga out of here and pack him up, man. Yeah, he got mad for him, man. I ain't going to cap, man. It just keeps getting worse. It don't even stop. It just keeps going. Yo, I heard Kendrick, man. Yo, hold on. I heard that too. I know what you're gonna say. I heard that too. Yo, I heard they might make a Grammy category for this record. Yep. Just because of Kendrick, man. <laughs> well, yo, yo, listen. I, I mean, will he be the first? I don't know. I don't know if he'll be the first artist to win a. Uh, I because I think somebody else won a Grammy for this record, right? Nah, nah. But uh, back to back was nominated. Back to back was nominated though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so back to back was nominated. Yeah, he, okay. yeah, it was nominated though. Trust me, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna make that, <laughs> that shit hurt. That shit hurt. Yeah, <laughs> and he should have um, won that. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Shout out Q but, Smith. Appreciate you, Q. Word. Go check that out, man. You got some fire on it. Yeah, yeah, so on top of that, Drake removed all his diss songs from um he removed <laughs> what from, from from social media, I think he said. <laughs> what was it? They said yeah, he uh, took them down. He took them down. He removed all his Kendrick diss from social media. Yeah. Jake. It, shout out to Jake in the building. I don't know how to say that last name scrap, so we're gonna leave it at Jake. Jake. What's up, Jake? Appreciate you. Kingsbridge, Jake. KBT, nah, hold up. That's that's the hometown there. Okay. Appreciate you. No, appreciate you, Jake. Nah, man. Listen, man, that's that my G my still over there. I still got family in KBT right now, man. Okay. You know, I'm still, you know, uh I'm still, you know, I, I write music for Bash now. That's what I do, nah, man. <laughs> I appreciate you. So if you like yeah, my joint or you think my joint is great, go check my nigga Bash out. Those are my words, those are my lyrics, that's my pet. <laughs> I got the greatest you know, ghostwriter ever, bro. Shout out, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Jake. He's no, taking the Drake role. Real right. You know He's I mean? taking you know, the Drake role. He, he writes some of his music. lyrics. Hey, nah, nah, nah. I don't write no Drake lyrics. Nah. No, 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 no. No, no. He's, no. Whoa, you missed it. I said Hop is taking the Drake role. He writes some of his music. He let people write oh, for him. Bro. Right, you know right. what I mean? Come on, you feel me? Got to get the back. Shout out to Jake in the building, man. You know what I mean? Shout out to Kingsbridge. Kingsbridge, what up, man? Yeah, yeah Pete nah, Powell, I, I don't think word. Drake is over. I don't think Drake is over because he's still an artist. Um, but I do think he, if he come out, oh, I'm still the best rapper. I, that people ain't gonna want to hear that shit. He better come out with another Delilah, another. Um, Y'all go hate pop. me. Y'all go hate Why? me. I'm gonna say it. No, we not because we know the was it. We know which but but bandwagon you on scrap like no, we know I'm saying Y'all go. Y'all about y'all about to debate me, but I'm here for it. You feel me? Listen, nah, as long as you. listen. As long as you got the women, you will forever be untouched. I'm good. So, so he R and B dude then. As long as listen, Pac said it best. Pac said it. The the, yo, if you can get the women there, the N I G G I Zs will follow. Yeah, that's a fact. That's it. Yeah, you know I mean, so uh -huh. 
And Drake don't have to. This they is the sure all following order. right now. They following uh, Kendrick right now. No, I see more women they, on TikTok and stuff like that. This they, is Drake the Vid. Yo, I'm seeing people that don't even listen to rap. They don't even listen to hip hop. <laughs> they don't. They they not even in that mix. Scrap. Know what I'm saying, yeah. and some, and they know they not like us. They but dancing, no, no. they doing all the extra. Know what I'm saying it's crazy out here. It's, it's, bad, it's bad business for that man, man. I'm not going to cap, man. Don't listen. Don't let that fool you, man. But when they get, nah, me, I ain't let nothing dressed, fool me, man. Know what I'm saying I'm, get, I'm, I'm see, I see the energy. Know what I'm saying, yeah, but it could fool the energy you is clear as day. Listen, when women are getting dressed, when they in the house. Cleaning up when they doing their thing, they pick nah, up. Drake gonna do what he gonna Kendrick. do. We not, we not. Listen, we that's not. I don't think. But that's we, where the money's at. That's where that's where a lot of people forget that. Like Drake gonna sell out whatever show he do because the women is gonna show up. Bro. Uh, listen, this is a, show up. listen. When we when I say Drake is over, I can't say we. Right, when right. I right. say Drake is over. You know I'm saying I'm saying that certain. The, the what you were just speaking on the 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 level or the echelon in, in which people looked at him before now i'm saying where it's like yo now nah, we ain't fucking with him now i'm saying leave right, that right, nigga right. alone now i'm saying that's what i mean when i say he of course drake gonna keep making music he gonna keep selling record of course that's not gonna stop now i mean because we got a lot of motherfuckers out here who just yeah, you know, nice you know they bro. Regardless, yeah, you know they drink. Yeah, they 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 bias regardless of what you put in front of them. Know what I'm saying so. It's the yo, bro. Listen, men, like, uh, women, women like music, bro. Women purchase more music than men. That's just what it that's is. Cool. Like that's nah, a that's cool. That's a statistical fact. Like you know, yeah, what that, mean? like wh women purchase, women buy things, women. And, and 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 Drake mastered that area because he's not only just an R and B guy, but he makes those kind of records. So I'm not saying if Kendrick if Kendrick made those kind of records, then yeah, Kendrick would buy because he's good at them too. But yeah, no, I'm not. not I'm not saying Kendrick gonna take over what Drake do. No, that's not. I, I, listen, I think anybody who knows music knows what's up. Now, I mean, yeah. we it, it's not we not delusional. Know what I'm saying like, first of all, Drake got his lane. Kendrick got his lane. There's two different. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna we we know Drake gonna continue. Listen, this is like what I'm saying is right in in the in the example of it's like if Floyd was still boxing, right? Like really boxing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're not talking about these exhibition matches and shit like yeah. that. We're talking about like if Floyd really boxing and a nigga go out there and knock him the fuck out. You know what I mean? Floyd going to still be Floyd. He's still going to continue doing what he's doing. But the matter in which certain people are going to look at him or now, mm -hmm. now I'm saying it's just different. It's different now. That's what I mean when I say, yo, he over. Like when it come to that sense where it was like before, you know, everybody stayed away from that. Everybody, nah, leave that nigga be, leave that, know what I'm saying? Like now you could tell the energy is different. Know what I'm saying? Like, there's people out there that before they probably was in the closet. And I'm saying, I don't mean it like that. I'm saying, you know, they awesome they wasn't back. publicly showing what side they rocking with or if, you know, because there's a lot of people that probably wasn't fucking with Drake for a while, period, that, that just wasn't saying nothing. Yo, saying? YG. <laughs> Yo, that, YG you just, see, up. you just see the flood. You just see the nah, flood see. open. Yeah. How you call out YG to and then he show Nah, up but you gotta understand, like Kendrick. why like it you gotta understand though. That's a different thing. Like if you from the West, you're supposed to stand with Kendrick. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a West name. That's yeah. a totally different thing. Like, yeah, like, it don't matter if you to. Yeah, it, it don't matter whether you rock with Drake. Drake Drake should respect that. Like, I gotta yeah, but it makes Drake like, look crazy. Yeah. Like, oh, I, like he called out YG, like YG was choosing him over Kendrick, and then Ken, YG showed up for Kendrick during I the diss. See that. During the disc, no, but he, that, seven that, times, like you, 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 it blood but walked that, you. you can't, <laughs> yeah, but that ain't not. That's what he got to do. Like you can't not ride with your coast five. Like that, that's that's no, a whole I get separate it. He thing. Did exactly I mean, well, nah, nah, hold on, but hold on. Let's not say that's what he got to do. Well, he ain't got to do it. 